hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another interesting topic on docker so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can uh, dockerize a node.js app okay so what we are going to see we will see the complete procedure for dockerizing a node.js web application in this tutorial so uh, if you know node.js you know we can have a node.js setup where we have to write a code to uh, use a Node.js web app, so I'm not going to talk about uh, how to create a Node.js app uh, in this tutorial But I will be showing uh, a lot of the configuration like app.js or server.js Which depending upon how you want to do it and what are the packages which we need to install a lot of things and we will see how we can uh, Dockerize it. So, okay, so I'm, I'm going to use an express.js application here and uh, we will uh, uh, Dockerize that application in this tutorial so when we say about dockerization so uh, in this uh, steps what are the steps we will have so we need to have a docker file we need to build the docker uh, you know image then we have to deploy the docker uh, container okay so the, our base is a node.js uh, you know app with express.js okay as a base and then what we will do is we will use that code okay and we will convert uh, using that code uh, we will write a docker file to copy those codes into a, a docker image okay so using that docker file we will create a docker image which will have the node.js in a setup and also our packages and our uh, files copied into that image okay and using that docker image we will create our docker container so that will be our uh, complete process in this uh, tutorial okay so before I get into the actual process, I would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, kindly like this video and other videos as well and share and comment. Okay, to start, let, let me show you a demo app which I have created uh, for Node.js. Okay, so the Node.js structure, you know, uh, if you want to have a simple uh, Node.js, you just need uh, app.js or server.js, any name you want to call, okay. And you'll have a package .js and where you'll have the metadata uh, like what's the name of your app uh, the description and uh, you know which uh, file you need to uh, call when you run the application and you'll have dependencies like which uh, things has to be installed or in our case I'm using express uh, no, um, JS then I'm using a JS Hog, uh, Hogan middleware and Noteborn is more of uh, you know, just to run the application which uh, basically it's not required but since I uh you uh, keeping it in my you know uh, package okay because i use it uh, when i run it for development purpose so you can edit the files on the go itself you don't need to exit from the application okay so in app.js if you see i'm using the express uh, uh, here okay and i'm using some routes so you can see some folders like route and views here right so uh, there is a post uh, route where i'm uh, telling you know it's sent from uh, node.js okay i can change this uh, entry here so that will be reflecting on the home page okay uh, and uh, you see the home uh, mustache uh, file here where i have uh, created something over here right it's like a form where i'll be getting a button to enter my email address right where i'll be collecting something okay but i'm not actually doing any action after that so it's just a sample one okay and if you see the app.js um, you know i'm using a post request here right it's just post and i'm using the port 888 here and this is the host port in my local machine which i'll change it when it comes to a docker okay so this should not be uh, 192.168 or 0.0101 which is my local host machine but I'll be changing that uh, in the docker which should be 0 .0 .0 .0, okay. So, uh, 0 0 so this is the sample uh, I'll be sharing all these uh, files and everything in my github location okay so let's get started in the docker site so I have this uh, my all the contents uh, you know, in, in my github so I, it's easy for me to uh, clone this uh, into my docker machine okay so if you see this is my docker uh, machine okay i have created a folder for node.js and what i'm going to do is i'm going to clone this um, uh, git repo okay so i'm going to clone this one
okay we are done so if I if you see I have a folder so if I go to note app uh, inside that I have all the folders like app.js node modules package.json this node modules why it is coming because I have a run npm install locally on my machine so this comes by once you install the uh, application which is coming from the package.json json okay uh, so it's not mandatory you need to have this but in our uh, docker uh, and, you know when we create the image we will exclude this so once we run the package.json it can install the module in it okay so i will show you how how to do that uh, i will create a docker ignore file and then we will do it now if i go to this app.js Uh, what I need to do is I need to change first this uh, host entry okay so I need to change this to zero dot zero dot zero dot zero okay because we are talking here uh, on the uh, docker container okay so that's what I'm going to do rest of things I'll keep it as it is okay? and I will save the file okay so now let's create a docker file okay so i will come out of this uh, folder okay and i'll create a file called docker file okay inside the docker file uh, what we need to do is i will go to my sublime text editor and i'll show you i have already written the docker file so the docker file will be like this okay so i'm going to use a node uh, image from docker hub which is uh, version 14 okay and I'm going to define the work directory as uh, user SRC app. If you want some other location, you can use that as well. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the package.json file uh, from this folder, okay, where uh, I have, we have cloned the, uh, my Git repo, right, where I have uh, kept this package.json. This JSON file is available in that location, okay and i'm going to copy that into the uh, src app folder folder and then i'm going to run the npm install so when i run the npm install it will create this node modules okay so i'm not going to copy the node modules uh, here okay that's why i'm running the npm install then i'm going to copy the rest of the content from there into this app so rest of the content means like views routes uh, and app.js files okay these node modules will come automatically once you install so in order to exclude this node module uh, i'll be creating a, fold, a file called uh, docker um, ignore okay and uh, this step you know you need to expose the port so if you see here we are exposed using the port 888 if you are using a different port you need to expose that port here okay so that uh, the container can connect with the outside network okay and uh, at the end we are going to say the node has to run the file app.js okay so this is the file app.js in your case if it's a different like server.js or some other file you need to call that okay so that is what we are going to do in the docker file okay okay so uh, let me first uh, create um, let me exit from this okay let me create a file called docker ignore okay and uh, okay you can see I have already have it one so it's called uh, node modules and npm debug okay so these two uh, files I need uh, to be ignored when I use the docker file so when I run the con uh, copying you know it should not be copying that okay it should be run uh, as part of uh, the npm install okay so you can create this docker model if you run ls it will not show because it's a hidden file so you can see docker ignore file is here right okay so uh, let me create the docker file now and uh, let me copy these contents into it okay
Okay, it should be like this, right? From node 14. Okay, and the work directory is user app. I'm copying the JSON file, npm install, right? And uh, the exposing the port. Let me save this file. Okay. So now, if you see, we have a Docker file, and the source uh, is under here, right? Uh, node Docker underscore app, right? So if the folder name is something different for you. We need to change uh, the code accordingly, okay? Because I'm copying it from here. If it's a different folder for you, you need to change that in your code, okay? Now let's create a Docker image using this uh, Docker file. So in order to do that, you need to use Docker in a build hyphen T, and you need to give a name for the image. So I'll call the tips for you slash node.js app and the docker file is in the current folder okay so i'll run it like this so now if you see this uh, npm install it will take some time for uh, to run it okay so you can see it's installing the contents in there so i added 176 packages right and uh, it has completed the exposing in all these layers right so uh, it, it's completed quickly because I already have the node uh, image available in my machine. If you, if you don't have it, it may take a little bit more time. So if I go to Docker images, you can see there is an image called the tips for you Node.js app, right? Okay. And, uh, so if you want to get the history, so you can see what has happened in the Docker image, you can use the command Docker image history tips for you slash node.js app okay so this will tell you know what has happened so it is talking about uh, uh, the docker uh, whole history of this uh, image right so you can see the work directory here right and it's installing npm install it's, it's happening this is these all uh, from the node.js app which uh, default it come from the uh, docker hub okay and exposing it and uh, it's uh, going to run this uh, node.js uh, node app.js uh, at the end okay so let me clear so now since we have the docker image we can create a container now so we can run docker run hyphen d hyphen p and i'm going to expose uh, port 888 from local and also from the container and the image is the tips for you slash node.js app okay now you can see there is a container running right and if you if i go to docker logs and this container you can see this message node.js app is running on this one right this is coming from uh, this uh, content you can see the node.js server is running in host and port right the host is uh, uh, 000, 000 but we given and the port is this one right so in order to access this um, uh, node.js app let's see what is the ip address of this uh, machine okay so this machine is running on this ip 192.145.130 and the port should be 888 which we need to access it so if i go to my browser okay and if i put this one and 888 you can see you know this is coming uh, message right now hello from node.js using node one okay this is coming from uh, this post see hello from node.js using node one right and i have uh, another view called the home so uh, what happens is uh, if I go to slash home, you can see there is a, a new page, right? This is coming from this section where I have given like this is uh, Node.js home page and I have a some section for it, right? So uh, I can add, enter some details here, right? I can enter some details uh, in your email address and then you can click on sign up, right? So this is what the overall uh, process we did, right? So we have uh, copied the uh, Node.js app content into the Docker image, right? And then we have created a container. So it's uh, pretty simple uh, in this tutorial. 
uh, or, but uh, I'm not uh, going to tell more about how to create the Node.js app or I'll give you this uh, GitHub link you can use it you can play around okay and if you want me to start a Node.js app please uh, give the comment I will start uh, setting up a Node.js environment for you we will go step by step how to create a Node.js app uh, you know, uh, on those tutorials okay so this is a, a starting a process but next you know i will be adding more tutorial on node.js uh, like you know we can have a front end uh, as a proxy with nginx rather than directly access node.js we can have node.js running on the back end and we can have a front end with the nginx uh, that would be our next uh, tutorial and uh, i will also would like to add some database on the back end so we can have uh, mongodb or some other database on the back end then we'll have uh, node.js then we have nginx so we will add more uh, tutorial in the upcoming uh, sections so i hope uh, you, you are able to get the, all the information required for this tutorial if you don't want to do uh, all these uh, routes views and everything what you can do is you can have a simple uh, package or json okay uh, you know with uh, what is required you may not even need the uh, express or anything you can just use a http module in build module to create app.js you can uh, remove all these things you can just use the inbuilt HTTP module and you can create a simple uh, no page like you know you can uh, give an output uh, use the HTTP content uh, to mention when you access the home page okay that is also possible if you want to do it uh, I have just uh, shown you a little bit uh, with uh, my project okay. so I hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment